Mai, why are we in jail? What jail is this? Wait, mine. Pickaxes. <gasps> is this Sidna mine? Mai, why are we in Sidna mine? It doesn't matter anyway. All that matters is we try and find our way out of here. But let me think, how did we get here? Yes, that is how we got put into jail. Okay, good. And whose side did we choose in the end? Did we choose the right side to be with? Oh yes, we had to either choose the Silverblood family situated in Markarth. They are really, really corrupt. Or we chose that Forsworn King, Madna, who was treated like royalty in prison. He took my shiv, Maik. How about we talk about both of the sides we were given to choose in this decisions and see what may or may not have been the best one to pick? Okay, look, Ronald the Crab is here. Neat. So one of the hardest decisions you will come up against in Skyrim will be the treacherous quest of Markarth that you are forced into from the moment you step foot inside its gates. The quest being the Forsworn Conspiracy Quest. This quest can be started at any time during the game but serves as a turning point in Markarth's history for whatever side you choose because from a lore point of view both sides will impact Skyrim's future. These sides being that of the Forsworn and that of the Silverblood family. Like most leaders in Skyrim the leaders of these two factions are also super corrupt, so it's going to be a little difficult to choose the lesser of two evils here when both guys are as evil as, well, really evil people. So this quest can drag out for a good while depending on the actions you take or it can be really short depending on how fast you are too. But I will assume that once you all put on detective hats you try and solve this quest, listening to every character detail can be crucial in understanding what is really going on in this corrupt Dwemer rune that is now a big giant city in Skyrim. Might I mention Markart is one of the better looking cities too, so I put this on my tourist attraction list, although human sacrifice was never posted on the front of the postcard as a feature, but I guess I got it anyway. So let's start off with the usual cut up into categories video by telling you the important parts of the quest that you need to know. So upon entering Markarth, you will be instantly greeted with an attack on a woman in the market by some random red guard screeching for the Forge Sworn or something. If you are quick enough, you can save this woman from the random attack and you can get a reward from her, but meh, who cares. A small midget approaches you and drops a note and tells you to meet them privately in plain view of some guards in the city, but tells you to go to the Shrine of Talos to meet him there. You go on to talk and find out there is a big plot going on around here and boom, you become a long-term detective solving the real world crimes of Markar. You search Whalen's house, read the journal and then beat up a thug who is just not able to fight but he's sent by someone called N. You check out the woman who gets attacked at the beginning of your visit to the city, you check out her room and discover a plot unfolding which then leads you to the N person who is actually Nepos who is a secret forsworn agent in Skyrim. Before that though you go to Thonar Silverblood and save him from being attacked by inside agents but then he gets the guards on you anyway because... I don't know. Before that though, you go to Nepos' house, or after that, not before, you only have to go once. But you go to Nepos' house and, you know, he's an innocent looking old, no, you butcher everyone in sight, all the family, everybody, Nepos included, take his leathery skin, do what you have to do. He's actually a secret force one agent, so you know. If the game hasn't bugged out like it consistently does 100% of the time, making this quest completely unplayable for you and everyone it ever has in history, because this has to be the buggiest quest Skyrim has to offer. I I think it took me like four fucking years to complete this quest because goddamn Todd just fix your damn coding bug ugh. But you'll be hauled off to sit in a mine by the corrupt side of Mark Hart while Eltree's dead body sits there smiling and taunting you because he got a free reign out of this shitty quest. Now, this is the quest that defines your choice for the future of Skyrim's lands within the Reach, and it would genuinely have an effect in lore. Now, I can go on to deep diving into the lore of each character, Thonar and Madnock, and go into political beliefs and comparisons and blah blah blah, but it's much simpler than that. You are basically choosing between a stupidly corrupt politician who will do anything to stay in power, or kill anybody who fights him back, all that kind of normal stuff in politics, or you can choose a man who runs a big dirty cult who is into human sacrificing because that's what the Forsworn do, this isn't really a big choice to make if you're an actual human being with a conscience and you feel guilt because if you were to pick the Forsworn for any reason I would think there was something vastly wrong with you to be honest, why would you pick murdering scumbags, do you eat babies, yeah I thought so. The Forsworn butcher, rape, eat and do all kinds of atrocities to people, while Thonar might kill a few people to stay in power, bully smaller farms and businesses and basically be a filthy dick 
spectator, but it's better than having the Aztecs basically run you. You'll get a reward for either choice, you get a ring from Thonar if you murder Madnock, and you get the armor of the old gods from Madnock if you help him instead escape. Pick the lesser of two evils here and choose Mai. He'll run Markarth the way you think he will, he'll, he'll lead everyone to victory, he'll wipe out the Forsworn, he'll he'll beat Thonar to death, I don't, I don't fucking, just pick Thonar anyway, that's the choice you should make. Pick Thonar because he's not going to sacrifice humans for no good reason, just pick Thonar. There's your decision chosen, pick Thonar, you can do it, I believe in you. That's it for today's video. Didn't you see the point in dragging this choice out? There was really none, so that's why I didn't. But whatever man, you do you at the end of the day. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to check them out. As always, I do hope you all have a wonderful day and you enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a like if you did. And constructive feedback is always welcome. But have a wonderful day, a great week, a magnificent month or a stellar year or whatever time you're living in. And I'll see you in the next one.